Any disclosure of pecuniary interest or and the general nature thereof? None? No public meetings, no deputations. Adoption of the meeting agenda. Be it resolved that the council approve the agenda of the regular meeting dated April 18, 2023, as presented. Ever mover? Jim? Seconder Harry? Discussion? All in favor? Harry? Approval of previous council minutes. Be it resolved that the council approve the following minutes as presented. Regular meeting of the council, March 21, 2023. Special meeting of council, March 28, 2023. Committee of the whole meeting of council, April 4th, 2023. Do we have a mover? Okay, mover. Move by Jim, seconder. Gary, discussion. I just wanted, I, I, because I wasn't here for March 28th, I don't have any record of it, so I, so I won't be approving that. I don't know if you could mark that down. I can't approve the 28th because I wasn't here at a special meeting. I just want to make a note of that. So I can't approve it because I wasn't here to see it. I think we'll make it then and we can make a note in a minute. Good. Any other discussion? All in favor? Carried. Letter of resignation from Mayor Gibson. Be it resolved, the Council for the Corporation of the Town of Cobalt does accept the resignation from Mayor Gibson this 18th day of April, 2023. And further, that pursuant to Section 262 of the Municipal Act, the Mayor's seat be declared vacant. Mr. Mover? Pat? Seconder? Gary? Discussion? All in favor? Can that letter be read? That letter of resignation, can that be read out loud? Yes, it can. Thank you, David. To whom it may concern, please accept this as my formal resignation letter for the position of mayor for the town of Cobalt this 6th of April, 2023. Thank you, Maida Gibson. We had four in favor, opposed? Okay, carry. 7-2, staff report, how to fill vacancies on council. And Steve, would you like to just present your report? Oh, okay. Uh, be it resolved, the council accept the staff report 2023, uh, 0418.01 as presented. We have a mover? We'll get Harry in on a moving this time. And a seconder? Jim? Discussion. Steve, you wanna? Yep. With the resignation of Mayor Gibson, council has three choices to move forward. First one is a by-election, which will be the most costly to the municipality. And it's also the most time consuming because not only you have to wait to have the election, take time. So another one is uh, if council can appoint within. So um, therefore, if any of the councillors would like to be mayor, voting will occur within council as a whole. And once that position is taken, then we, you would have to declare a council seat vacant so that's option number two number three is to go back to the mayoral list from the uh, election and the next one in line who came second 
And that is your third option. I think it's the horse. We could also advertise and request. Yeah, that one there as well. Any other discussion? Pat? Yes, I'd like to uh, propose that we ask Angela Adshead if she would like to move into the mayor's chair since uh, she was second, she came second in the mayor's race. That and third? that would be a first step for us. Yeah, our third, third, our third option you're choosing. Yeah. Right. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are making that motion. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yes. Motion before the motion. Okay. Yeah. Well, because it's not on the agenda per se, yeah. then we have to suspend the regular rules of order so that we can entertain motions with respect to that particular item. So. Can I have a motion? Uh, and do we also have to pass? Because right now we have a motion on the table to accept the staff report. We're just discussing it. So do we have to accept the staff report mm -hmm. first? So we can close that motion and move to the next one. Because we didn't vote on it. We just. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. right. And, and then we would stand. That, that's the only thing I was confused about. Uh, yeah. We have a discussion item on that one. So anyway. Any further discussion? I'd like to see us go to applications. <clears throat> so put a motion forward for that. Go to the general public, see if anybody wants to take up the position. Any other discussion? Your Worship, can we close the one discussion first before? Okay. So let's have a uh, vote on accepting the staff report. All in favor? Carried. Now, a meeting to suspend the regular order of business. The mover? Jim? Second? Discussion. All in favor? Carry. So now we can entertain motions on what council would like to do. Carrie, did you want to make your motion? I'd like to, to see us go to the public for applications. Okay. Uh, right on the back of this. Is there a seconder? I'll second it for the purpose of discussion. I, can I discuss now? Please, please do. Uh, I'm just concerned that we did very recently have an election. It wasn't like it was a year or two years ago, and the public did vote so if we ask for applicants new people might show up that the public hasn't had a chance to, to vet or speak to and then we would be making that one so if you were to want new people to be allowed i think the more democratic way would be to actually then go to an election because there's so much time left in the term if it, if it was like a year or so i would understand what you're saying but it's it's four years and people just had a chance to step forward and they could have if they had wanted to. So we have, I think we have a, a list of people. And we can't afford elections. No, we can't. The time time. Time. We can't. That's why I was proposing we step to the number two. And the applications are free as well. Is this the decision we're making tonight? It doesn't have to be. We can defer gonna, that to ask our committee the whole. Because if we're talking to Angela, we should ask if she's even interested before we discuss it. And, and the other candidates as well. You know, yeah, before, it's, we, before we discuss That's part of the, as, as Harry was, I think, looking at, was if 
if we asked for general interest, that would confirm at least two of the uh, candidates who had run. There is somebody in the audience that <laughs> mentioned, you know, give someone else a chance also that was in the, in the like Angela as said, there is also Rod Pryor, Mike Harrison, maybe yeah. asked if they had interest to it while we're here, because yes. I believe Rod's here tonight, right? Just, just, just uh, as well ask, yeah, since they're here. Just, if you don't want to, don't. Tonight was more just going over the options that we had to discuss whether the, than discussing the actual candidate. That would be the normal course of business. Mm -hmm. yes. And I would prefer to go that route tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think whatever we're going to do, and as, as ever, whatever council wishes, that's what we will do according to the votes. But yeah, all of you are bringing up, I think, important points. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think Harry's suggestion that looking for expressions of interest would include all of the previous candidates. And perhaps even retired mayors. You never know. Uh, but that would at least give us a number of options to consider. Would anyone like to make a motion one way or the other? Or? Let's defer it. <coughs> the committee of the whole board. Yeah. Yeah. The committee of the whole mm -hmm. right. Did you want to withdraw your motion? Yeah. Yeah. I'll withdraw that note. Yeah. yeah. Just as easy. Then we can just defer it. Yeah. Okay. We can put this off to the committee of the whole meeting. Okay, so yeah. in order to uh, yeah. defer to our council committee of the whole? Yeah. And Pat? Discussion? All in favor? Carried. Would we like to give staff a direction on what to gather information for us for our committee of the whole meeting? Like putting out a, a request for expressions of interest, that kind of thing? It has been a little while since the election, so maybe the previous candidates would kind of resubmit some sort of a platform that we could consider. If we're going to maybe be choosing one of them. Mm -hmm. I was thinking if we get expressions of interest, then we got something to build on. Mm -hmm. Do we want those now so we can discuss at the committee of the whole, or should we wait for the committee whole to put that out and then discuss it at our next meeting? Mm -hmm. If we want to do this more quickly, uh, then if we get the information earlier, the sooner we can discuss it. Yeah. I'm on board for sooner than later, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yes, me too. By the way. Yeah. I guess we only have about 60 days. Anyway. 60, 60 days, you know? days to appoint, or 60 days to declare an election. Mm -hmm. that, that would be our our boundaries. So we have a move motion. We've deferred it, and uh, can we give? Our staff direction then to uh, ask for expressions of interest. Good. I wonder to that, should it be expressions of interest for either mayor or councillor? Yeah, we probably have to do that separate, wouldn't we? Right now, there's no need for a councillor yet. True enough. We have to be separate. We can do it that way then. So that's deferred and just for clarification, it's expressions of interest for the mayor position. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. If we uh, fill the mayor's position, then we would automatically request expressions of interest for vacancy on council. Okay, 7.3 with respect to hacking of council meetings. Be it resolved that council will direct staff to proceed with Zoom webinar. Mover? Harry? Harry? Question? Angela? I just want to make sure that because the webinar 
I remember correctly and understand correctly that if a counselor wants to attend but isn't able to be physically present, that the webinar doesn't work. Does and that it well. yes, does it? It does. It does. It does. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay. And guests can be invited as well. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Because you had said we can't really switch easily between platforms, but it does. Oh, so perfect. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor? Carried. 7.4, motion for support of the Town of Essex tax classification of short-term rental units. Be it resolved, the Council supports the Corporation of the Town of Essex's motion regarding tax classification of short-term rental units. And further, a copy of the resolution to be forwarded to the Municipal Assessment Corporation, impact, the Ministry of Municipal Affairs, and any other relevant bodies to investigate the tax classification of short-term rental use and consider taxing them as commercial as opposed to residential. Mover? Pat? Seconder? Angela? Discussion? All in favor? Carried. 7.5, motion for the support for the Town of Essex, reinstatement of legislation permitting a municipality to retain surplus from tax sales. Draft motion. Whereas prior to being repealed by the Modernizing Ontario's Municipal Legislation Act 2017, Section 380, parentheses 6 of the Municipal Act 2001, allowed for a municipality to retain surplus proceeds from tax sales within their jurisdiction. And whereas the public tax sale process is burdensome to a municipality who invest a considerable amount of time and money recovering these proceeds for the potential sole bill and benefit of the Crown in right of Ontario, therefore, be it resolved, the Council supports the Corporation of the Town of Essex's motion regarding the reinstatement of previous legislation permitting a municipality to retain surplus proceeds from the tax sale. And further, that a copy of the resolution be forwarded to all of the relevant bodies, including the Ministry of Municipal Affairs, the Minister of Finance, and MPP John Vanthoff, urging them to reinstate previous legislation that permitted a municipality to apply for and retain a surplus from a tax sale in their jurisdiction. Motion mover? Pat? Seconder? Jim? Discussion? Pat? I think this is the most important one to us. Um, if any of you uh, realize <coughs> how many hours, days, and sometimes weeks it takes to get these tax sales going, and the only charges we can make for retaining anything extra over the that's paid for the building over the taxes, it's just the absolute charges like phone bills and stuff like this. The hours and hours and hours everyone spends in here. Yeah. Uh, we deserve to get compensation. The town deserves to get compensation for it. And since we go through two or three at least a year, I don't know how many, um, we need to, you know, we need every tax dollar we can get. And this is a reversal from what it used to be. So we were getting it before, so, uh, the extra, and then our fair interior government decided to reverse that. I think that's something that's very important too. <clears throat> we need to support any and every municipality that tries to help us with this. Thank you. Any other discussion? I just want to throw in a thought that I had, and partly because of your comment just now, Pat, that we should be able to uh, uh, claw back everything that we've spent on it. I, I think that makes sense. But I wonder if there's a significantly larger amount of uh, monies involved that would be over and above our expenses and efforts uh, if, if generally we would have a proper right to that excess. Uh, like if, if it were a significant property, say a $100,000 property, and we put in $10,000 worth of work processing it, we should be able to get our 10000 back. But do we really have a right to the 90000 or should that go to the original owner? And that's just a hypothetical. I'm just throwing out. Mm -hmm. 
as the original owner that didn't pay their taxes for years and cost us time and money for several years before anything can legally be done. Is this saying that the, the owner will get it or the, the province will get it? Because I think the province is getting the extra money, right? So the town should get it before the province gets it. That was stating here, if I think I might be right on. What was happening before was, well, it used to be that way the municipality would have a check get some surplus, but then it changed with the provincial government, changed legislation, and now we want to go back to that because they reduced the time period. The town should get it before the, before the province gets it, for sure. Who gets it now? The province. The surplus, uh, yeah. the surplus now yeah, goes the to the province. the municipality does not have a chance to go for any of the funds. Mm -hmm. And this is requesting. We used to, after, because it used to be three years, but now it's down to two years as they reduce the timeline. But uh, the municipality never had a chance to go with the funds, even though they're doing a lot of the paperwork, everything. So now this is pushing to go back to what it was before, but with the lower, uh, shorter time frame. Who gets the surplus now? The province? Pardon? The surplus now goes to the province or the, uh, the owner? Well, it goes to the list of names who have rights to that. So. The town gets to claim back any taxes owed in that. Not right now. Not right now? They will, uh, portion, but they will have more like the other. We're going back to the previous way. Yeah. So, I, 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 yeah, with the surplus, they were currently they're unable to get any of the funds. So, I want to go back to the way it was. Interesting. Okay. Any other discussion? All in favor? Carried. Items for council information. Be it resolved that council accept the items for council consideration and information as. Seconder? Perry? Discussion? All in favor? Carried? By item eight, bylaws and agreements. One, uh, bylaw 2023 11, amendment to bylaw 2022 25, procedural bylaw, draft motion. Uh, whereas the procedural bylaw for the town of Cobalt includes provisions for the necessity for staff to be present during the ad hoc meetings. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Council of Corporation of Town of Cobalt enacts as follows. That section 7.8.2, bracket C, which reads, member composition, including staff members who shall be responsible for the administration of the ad hoc committee, shall be replaced with member composition, which shall include staff members when required for the administration of the ad hoc committee. Be taken as read a first, second, and third time and passed this 18th day of April, 2023, and further that the said bylaw be signed and sealed by the mayor and clerk. Move it. Mary, seconder, Jim, discussion. All in favor? Carried. No unfinished business. Schedule of accounts. Be it resolved, the council receives the following schedules as presented. Schedule number 2023-06 in the amount of $168,505.20. And schedule number 2023-07 in the amount of $126,218.30. Mover. Pat, seconder, Jim. Discussion. All in favor? Carried. No closed meeting tonight. No business arising from closed meeting. The confirmation bylaw draft motion. Be it resolved that bylaw number 2023 12, being a bylaw to confirm the proceedings of council of the Corporation of the Town of Cobalt, be taken as read a first, second, and third time and passed this 18th day of April 2023. And further, that the said bylaw be signed and sealed by the mayor and clerk. Move it. Pat, seconder, Jim. Discussion. 
All in favor? Carry. 14, adjournment. Be it resolved that the regular meeting of council be adjourned at 6.55 p.m. Mover, Jim, seconder, Harry, all in discussion, all in favor? Adjourned, Harry.